Right. Okay, I guess I can actually start a new game already now, because there will be an introduction where I'll have to talk a little bit anyway, because otherwise the video might get striked. So, first thing you guys will notice, we have a new set of difficulties here, and one of them is, yeah, Critical and Master, basically. These two are new, and Steiner was in the original one as well. So, we're gonna go with Critical, because I'm not too sure if Master would be too hard of a challenge for us, but we're gonna see about it. Uh, yeah, Auto is fine, Vibration. Don't know if it works with the emulator, but I guess we'll see. Okay, let's go. Critical. <laughs> Funny to see that this is actually a thing. Alright, so um, for a quick explanation, um, especially since I'm uploading this to YouTube as well. Um, this is Kingdom Hearts 1 Critical Mix, which is essentially a mod made by a fan. And uh, what this does is, just like the name says, it adds the difficulty critical to the game, which was not in the original game. The original game had beginner, standard, and proud mode. Um, but yeah, it didn't have critical mode, so that is actually new. And uh, like, is the, the, the series featured, whenever there was a critical mode, um, it included like something new to the game, so like you got more abilities at the beginning of the game and um, basically the like the ho the way how the whole game processed uh, changed a little bit. Damn, I don't even know what to talk about all the time. I just hope that the music isn't too loud that the video immediately gets flagged. If it's the case I might as well just link the Twitch video because I don't think it would be a problem there. But we can check really quick if anything else is working. I mean, dashboard is live, so technically I don't really see a problem. Like, this is heavily untested, like... <laughs> I'm not even sure if the mod itself is working, because how this works is, first of all, there's a patch file, and second of all, you're using cheats um, in order to change certain things at the beginning of the game. Um, these are pre-made. I'm not actually sure which cheats we have activated right now. Actually, I could show, look it up in the document that was provided. It's a smart idea to have that open anyway, because... Um, there are new abilities for Keyblades as well. I guess that's probably relevant to the people who have actually played this game, but they actually... So what the mod does um, is that the, the abilities of the Keyblades are also reforged. So, not only, for example, if we have Kingdom Key, not only just gives it attack and magic, but also it adds, like, stats change based on what magic you have equipped in your shortcuts. And that is kind of new. Also, it's a little bit weird that I have to click in and out of the windows, so hopefully it's not gonna be a problem. And yeah, this cutscene can't be skipped, by the way. In general, in the in the very first Kingdom Hearts game, you couldn't skip cutscenes. Like in the re remade, uh, remake they made for the PS4 and the PS3, you could do it, um, but not in, in the original game. So that's gonna be fun, especially if we die to like boss fights, which we probably do. Oh boy, I, I really am excited what the death counter will say in the end, but for, for now, we'll just get into this. Alright, there we are, now in game. Ah, oh, this text dude. <laughs> I remember all of it, but it's like so long ago since I've played this. Mm, now the question is... Yeah, I think in general it should be working. Oh yeah, look at that. Analog movement. Ah, oh, this is so good, because the original game didn't have that. You had to steer the camera using L2 and R2, which, I mean, for the time was okay, but like, by nowadays standards, it's, it's better to use like the analog stick for that, so that's nice. 
Also, I think for this playthrough, I'm just gonna choose what I always used to choose. Like, the sword and give away magic staff, probably, because I'm not sure how much damage we actually get um, when we would give away the shield, so that might not be a smart idea. Okay, what will we give about in exchange? I'm gonna go with the staff. Yes, give up this power. Damn, I'm getting so goosebumps because this sound, like, th the whole magic from back then is coming back. And then again, I have no idea what we're actually about to expect here, or about to see. Hmm, have I updated my stream title? I think I should have. Because I did this yesterday, and then I didn't end up streaming yesterday, so... I'm kind of, like, doing it now. Alright. So will this be the fighting tutorial already? I'm not quite sure in which order these were. Nice, the sword. There it is. Oh. Yeah, um, the text is actually saying something different, because the one of the cheats um, the guy added was also that X and circle are now switched so that it fits to the American controls. Alright, now some fighting. Okay, let's see. Was that different? I think so. That could have been one of the ability changes they made. That Sora has much more thingies at the beginning of the game. But then again, the game itself is harder. Oh, look at that! Yeah, it's certainly... Yeah, you don't have that slightest of this point. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Also, was the health bar bigger? It kind of looked like it, because I don't remember it being that big at the beginning of the game. And we're gonna see about it. Alright, what do we have next? I know that at some point we get to like a weird version of the Destiny Islands uh, where we actually need to speak to the friends to um, set up the level. I guess I'm gonna explain it later when we actually get there. Okay, and now... Oh, look at that! So when I press triangle now what it does is that it automatically st scrolls down and presses the button for me. And that's pretty neat. Okay, so open that. So basically, this is like how they made it in the, in the remake as well. Ah, oh, crap, I, I suck at this. <laughs> there we go. Nice, potion. What? Damn, he's moving so fast. <laughs> I wanted to to uh, destroy this thing with a sick uh, air attack. Couldn't do it. Or with an air combo, better said. Ah, this is where we get out. I think. Where is it? Yeah, now we are on the Destiny Islands and we have to choose more. The door won't open just yet. First of all, tell me more about yourself. Yeah, there we go. This is what I remember. There was a first person mode here. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay. So, what we talk with these is actually pretty important. So, um, because what you choose here influences the way how you level up. And... What I uh, like to do here is that I choose the first one, because, um, like, the first option here 
uh, makes it so that you level up faster in the beginning. And then in the late game you don't level up so fast. And friendship is like in the middle game you level up faster. And this one here basically levels you up in the end game. Also, hey there, Nancha. How are you doing? <laughs> so cool that you stopped by. And yes, I do plan to uh, play the whole game on stream. Not on one stream. Um, I'm probably gonna need more than one stream because this is kind of a long game. And uh, I have never played this mode before, so this is kind of new. What are you afraid of? It, like, these options we're choosing here, I, I, I find kind of dumb, like, to choose the first ones. But what's important is what happens now. You want to be number one, you're afraid of getting old, you want to see rare sights. Your adventure will begin at dawn, it should say now. Let's see. Yes, at dawn. That's exactly what we want. Oh, nice that you find it cool. Nancha, do you know this game? Because that would be sick. Like, this is one of my absolute childhood games, and I absolutely love the series. And I really wanted to stream this at some point in some way. So, the mod is actually kind of like a neat thing um, to stream, because that is not something that everybody has made so far. Alright. Let's go in the light. Press the start menu. Okay, nice. We get to open the menu now. You see many speedruns of them. Oh, okay. I do have speedruns. Uh, I've seen speedruns too. And I actually um, tried to speedrun Kingdom Hearts 2 back in the days. Um, but yeah, I'm. this is actually not a speedrun because... Uh, I've, like I said, haven't played this mode, and also, um... Oh, sorry there, I, I'm concentrating right now to fight these guys. Apparently that's not that easy to concentrate and uh, fight them at the same time. Okay, one more. Damn, Sora is moving so fast that it's hard to, to kick them, actually. So yeah, I've, I've do have speedrun, seen speedruns of this game as well. Um... And I knew a few of the strats which I might try, but I'm not actually planning to speak from this. Because it's just too long. You would need like three hours, I think, minimum, and that's quite long to be honest. Yo, Westy! Donald and Goofy? Oh yeah. Wait, have they been there? They probably have been on the platform, I didn't realize it. Okay, what we need to check now, this is our menu, and I kinda wanna know what we have currently. Only one potion. Uh, let's take out some more. Dude, look at how many we have. 20. Okay, so this is actually fair. Like, then the mode must be really, really hard, I, I think. Dream Sword. Okay, we only have that. And then abilities. Yeah, there are a few abilities. We may not change them right now, actually. But... All of these are actually new. In original Kingdom Hearts 1, we didn't have them at this point, so this is kind of cool. Yo, dragon! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Well, that was kind of like spontaneous, because I came back from, from, from sports and um, felt like streaming. I did not, wasn't sure if I really planned to stream or not. Alright, also I know that there will be a boss fight here, so let's get hyped for that. How are you doing, Dragon, by the way? Yeah, since this is a casual playthrough, I felt like using a face cam. Like, if I'm focusing... <laughs> intense focusing and during a speedrun, I don't like to use face, face cam, but... During stuff like this, when it's like just chill and stuff, I... why not? Or else, Kappa. What or else? <laughs> well, you still saw it somehow, Dragon. But sure, next time I'll, I'll tell you. Alright, this guy... oh yeah, what we want to do is to stay back here, and then... this is like... Uh, 
Yeah, you can go up his arm. Just like this. And hit him in the face, because this is gonna give you tech points. Which is kind of important. For leveling up, of course. Oh, we do have block? We have block! Normally we wouldn't have that, just saying. Okay, we need to actually hit him. Oh god. Damn it. Okay, that was kind of bad. I wanted to hit him more, but I still need to get used to that Sora is moving so much faster here. Alright, eventually we can actually finish him off now. Ah, oh, that was cool. Nice combo uh, finisher there. Okay, nice. That was the first boss fight. Uh, what mode is this? This is uh, critical mode, Westy. Because this is a mod, uh, which is supposed to make the game more harder. Yeah, Dragon, it was the very first boss fight in the game, so... I'm still expecting to die way more. <laughs> ah, but the magic of this game is so good! This is just how it begins, like... The, the real game is actually be gonna begin... Not even now, but this is the intro. Also... It might has crashed. And I did not save the game, did I? Oh, that is so stupid. I forgot about that, because... Um, there's a mod note, or... Like, a note attached to this mod, saying that eventually this will crash during um, the first the first battle. <laughs> so eventually, that means that I need to play this again now. Why have I not saved? I completely forgot to save. <laughs> That's soft luck though. Uh, nothing we can do though. Okay, so hopefully this works now. Something is certainly different this time. Yes, okay, this time it worked. Nice, okay. That means we can now move on. <laughs> After, I don't know, three tries or something? Yeah, all we had to do was dying, actually. Oh, wait a sec. This is not how it... I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Okay, so they've skipped ahead in the storyline. Normally... Uh, we would start differently here, but since this is a mod, um, it assumes that you have played this game already. So it actually skips ahead, like the whole Destiny Island stuff that you have to do, that you're building like um, yourself a boat and that you fight Riku and all that stuff, that has now skipped. And we're at this part already. Okay, so that's pretty cool, actually, when you have played this game before. Otherwise, it would be kind of sad that you don't get the story here, of course. Alright, and every Kingdom Hearts... What? 60 FPS, dude? Now it's working? Oh yeah, also, we can't fight these guys here, so we need to actually go on the bridge and get ourselves the Keyblade. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We gotta find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness.
Riku. Oh, this is epic. There it is, the key plate. The most important weapon of the game. Okay, I'm gonna fight these guys a little bit because we didn't get the experience from um, the first boss from the dark side. Star Sider? I forgot his name, I must admit. down. Also, one thing I wanted to check, if the hut is actually okay with, um, like, the webcam thingy. I think this should be fine, okay. Because this I have not checked at all beforehand, but it seems to look fine, so it's good. Also, you can fight these, um, shadows here infinitely. They, they will keep spawning, so... It would be nice to farm to at least the next level up, but I'm not sure when that actually is. Perhaps it's actually not shown the normal way how it is like in the original one. But there still should be level ups, I think. Also, it's nice to get these potions and stuff. Ooh, nice combos. Yeah, I think we might shoot, should just go on. Yeah, there we go. Is the shoot 'em up mini game in this game? Uh, I'm not sure which one you're referring to, Mancha. Uh, perhaps you can say what happens there, or which characters are there, or where it's supposed to happen. Sora. The shoot 'em up mini game. What kinds of minigames are there even in this game? RIP. This island is just toast. And look who we have again. Okay, this time we can hopefully actually fight him. <laughs> We get our revenge this time. Oh, that was ter that was terrible. Oh, nice parry. Okay, good. Uh, don't attack us. Ah, he does that thing. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Oh, nice tech points. Okay, we need those. Come on, come on. He's almost down. Yes, very good. One thing I just realized... Um, the, the health meter is there. You wouldn't actually see the health of this boss fight um, in the normal game. So that's a neat thing they have added earlier on. It's always nice to just he see how, min how much health the boss has. Oh, the gummy ships missions! Oh yeah, uh, well, these are there in this game. Um, however, I think this mod has actually made them a lot quicker. If you want though, Nuncha, I can show them. Because why not? This is a normal playthrough, and if you want to see them, I don't mind just uh, going through them. Because as a child, I actually enjoyed them a lot. 
but um, I think the warping feature was added immediately by um, the guy who did the mod. So you don't actually need to play them entirely, you get to, to warp to the next worlds faster. Also, first appearance of Donald and Goofy. <laughs> that insult. Nice. New location. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, we can't use this as of now. So we just have to go here and trigger this cutscene. This is totally weird. So yeah, the dream came actually true. Because what we sadly have skipped is that these kids, like Riku and Sora and also Kairi, which we have seen a little bit in the intro, they always wanted to um, visit other worlds and now Sora is in a different world, so this actually happened. Yeah, it is the final mix version, but also um, yeah, modded in the sense that more stuff was added, or like a new difficulty was added, Nancha. But the game itself is still the same, essentially. Also, the most important thing here don't forget to save. Alright. Uh, is there anything else we could equip as of now? I don't think so. Eventually, customize? No, we don't have anything there. Oh, whatever. We just have to pass through then. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to check is the status. EXP to next level. What? <laughs> okay, so that was completely unnecessary. Look at this. 65,000 in order to get to the next level. Okay, so that means there is no leveling up actually in this game. Or in, in, this, in this playthrough actually, better said. Let's see if something is inside here. Or was there... No, there was nothing here. Let's see if we can, like, find a potion inside here or something. Nope. So what's this thing? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's why it was always there. I had thought for a second that this might be the... ...thinking smiley, but I saw it wrong there. So, sadly no. Alrighty. Ooh. What a brutal game. This is actually the first death you see, or this should indicate what happens to, or how these heartless actually appear. This is whenever somebody dies, the heart basically fades into a heartless. Yeah, fighting these is kind of unimportant, but we do actually need to do it in order to trigger the next events. And also it seems that these drop useful items, so it's just a nice to have. Wait, do we have EXP 0 on? No, 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 no. We do get EXP, but it's just like we need a bunch of EXP in order to level up. Okay, like some... Ugh. Platforming here. Okay, nice stuff. When you mean modded, you mean just via the final mix version, no external modding? 
Um, well, technically it is external mancha. This is the final mix version, first of all, yeah, but... Um, this is a mod for the final mix version, um, which introduced a new difficulty mode, Critical. That has not been in the, in the original game, so that obviously is new. So yeah, essentially, I th I'm not sure what you mean by ex uh, external modding, but I think most likely it is external modding as well. Because we were using like cheat codes in order to get certain items. Like there was a document telling you exactly which, um, what you had to do. So I have no idea what cheats I actually did activate there. I don't think we actually need to go all this through all the stuff here. Oh yeah, Donald and Goofy. Like this is like a nice gimmick. So whenever you enter a room here, they made it so that um, Donald and Goofy just come out of the other room so that you barely miss them. All right, nice potion. I actually don't need to fight you guys. I don't know why I'm doing this. Perhaps we, in the end of the playthrough, we actually end up getting level 2. Or is there an ability that has EXP 0? I don't think so. We're meant to stay on level 1 the whole time. Okay then. Ah, okay. I, I was unsure if I explained it understandable, Nancha. If un anything is unclear to you, feel free to ask. They do a lot of damage, though. I'll say that. Okay, nice stuff. Alright, should we go through here? <laughs> oh, the... How is this called? The Melton? The... I don't know how this is pronounced in English. The Melton's... That, that's like... The problem for me right now, how to pronounce this in English. But we don't have collected them as of now, so nobody's inside here, sadly. Alright. The 99 puppies were lost. <laughs> yeah. We actually need to find them. Aww. Look at how sad they are. Man. We can't leave them like this. We're gonna bring up... Bring them... A few. <laughs> like, sadly not all of them, because I don't know where they are all hidden. Mm, okay, let's see what else we can see here. Can we go, like, here? Third district. Like... I know where we're meant to go. But I wanted to investigate if there's anything else we can like get early on that would help us. But I doubt it somehow. Mm, yeah, I think we really need to come back later here. Eventually we can open this. Looks like it's locked. Yeah, very funny. Okay, so we can't even open it. Okay, in, in that case we just go back. We actually need to go back to Sid, who is that grandpa we found in the in the first um, location. So we're just gonna go see him. Eventually we can take a look in the hotel. But not sure if there's anything. We're gonna come... yeah, currently closed. Currently closed. So, this is basically not important as of now. One thing we can see visit though is like this church here. This villa. Gizmo shop, this is called. Yeah, another cutscene where we missed these two. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I'm not even sure if there was anything inside. Obviously. We have some enemies. I I remember that this was like a nice spot to to farm EXP because um, this place 
endlessly just spawns heartless. But since we apparently don't level up in this uh, in this run, in this run I say in this playthrough, uh, we might as well just skip it and uh, go back to to set. I think that's our best option as of now. All right, now the shortcut should also be opened. I'm not sure, but I think we do need to kill these. There was a certain amount of Heartless you need to kill before you can actually enter the, the shop again, or talk to Sid. Alright, let's go inside here. And it might be a good idea to uh, actually save again. Alrighty, so do I actually have to talk to you? I'm here to shop. <laughs> uh, oh. We don't have enough money as of now. Perhaps we can sell something. Stock. We could sell something, but I'm not sure if it's important, so we don't sell it. Three potions, that's fine. And another boss fight. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this! Alright. Then have it your way. Alright. This is actually a fight we can lose. Um... Let's see if we can actually make it. Nice. Farming tech points. <laughs> oh. He's doing some brutal damage, dude. Ah. <laughs> he was too pro. <laughs> it's Leon, yeah. Oh, you know him, Nuncha. Hey, you found it. Nice going, Leon. But yeah, you may actually lose this fight. It's not a big problem. Still, it looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. And since we don't level up anyway, there's no point of winning this anyway. We would just see a different cutscene, that's all. But the plot is essentially the same. Wait. Oh yeah, this is the final mix cutscene that was added in. No text or no voices because, like I said, this was added. I wonder if they actually voiced this in the in the remade version for the PS3 or PS4. Oh, and there's Maleficent. So we actually get to know how uh, he was found here. I didn't remember this cutscene entirely. Gosh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. After all, I'm not scared. <laughs> Excuse me, did the king send you? Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. <sighs> you okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? <laughs> I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. 
The Keyblade. Yeah, we had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay, you know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts, that's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge! Oh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered! Too many worlds. These pages we have to look Ooh, for in. Then maybe the king went to find <laughs> How many games? Yeah. I was about Those to count them, but there are so many Kingdom Hearts games. We've got Spoilers, they are in every Kingdom Hearts game. That's right. The Keyblade. Or are just called different. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my home? My island? Riku! Kyrie! You know what? I really don't know. Rip. Wait, where we can move around here? I forgot. Looks like it's. Oh, yeah, 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 but look at this. We talked to her. I've heard that the keyblade can open all sorts of locks. Give it a try, okay. Then we interact with this, and it works. Two items? That's new. Okay, that's not bad, I, I guess. Uh, we don't have anything new, though. No need for me to look through the menu. Okay, save here really quick, because why not? And then... We should be... Yeah, um, maybe we need to talk to him. I'm ready. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, and there comes the action. He spawned inside. Ooh, epic. <laughs> that face. <laughs> This game still shows humor. Don't bother with the small fry. Find the leader. Yeah, we know who he is. And since we don't get some, um, you know, experience, I still fight these guys. Nice. Mm -hmm. What the hell? What was the damage output? Well, that's one for the death counter. Damn, I did not expect to use that so so early on, but oof. <laughs> yeah, I, I really shouldn't bother fighting these then. Yeah, I know, right? That was unexpected, Pancha. But uh, we we just skip them now. No music because. I failed. Still no music? Oh, come on. 
I mean, I do know how to g where to go, but I would have loved to hear some music while at it. Alright. Here's the big guy. Or first of all, we have some mob fights, actually. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go kill them! <laughs> so now they finally see each other. Oh boy, I think this boss might be a problem. <laughs> if the, the small guys already do, do these damage outputs. Okay, first of all, we need to fight them here. Let's do this. The good thing is we have Donald and Goofy in our party now, so it should be a little bit more easier. Alright. But here comes the important part. You do? Nice, Westy. But he's tons of harder in this world. Oh god. Oh boy. Okay, we immediately need to heal because otherwise we're gonna die. Two hits and we're dead. Oh, he's doing so much damage, dude. Is he gonna do the spin? No, that thingy. I know he has like a really mean spin attack. Which I'm hoping all the time that he's not gonna do. Oh. Take that, take that, that take. Damn it. It's not good. Okay. Wait, why did he warp like this? Oh god. Mm, I'm scared. Okay, 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 okay. Damn it. And I don't have any items. And Donald and Goofy are just that. Oh no, this is a problem. Why is there a second foot? <laughs> he just wrecked us. The fuck? Okay, I might need this counter open then. Alright, so the first wave is not a problem. Fuck. Okay, never mind when I said this first wave was not a problem. Here we go again. Why can I not skip this though? It's kind of unfortunate. Ah, that's fine, Ring. What are you applying to stream? Alright, be careful, be careful. Okay, locked off the feet, that's good. What? <laughs> <laughs> he just wrecks! It, it just in one shot, you're just dead. You have no chance. <laughs> Two hits and dead. Literally no chance. I'm about to die again. What is this? <laughs> Fuck, he just he just wrecks you in just one strike. We need to heal. No! 
<laughs> Fuck! In the moment I said it. Shite. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much the last question already. And we're dead! What the hell? <laughs> no, dude, fast! No! <laughs> what was that? He was just throwing his torso at us! This can't be, dude! Okay, death counter. Fuck, this death counter is rising way too fast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's number 12. There's number 12. No chance. No. No! In the process of healing, dude. <laughs> that was so unfair. I couldn't do anything. No. That was just... A very stupid chain reaction there, basically. Okay, nice. He's still doing the spin attack with one hand. This guy's a legend. Oh no! Go for it, Donald! Come on! Okay, nice. No! Okay, he's going for the stupid twist! Get ready! No! Whoa. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Woo. We got this! <laughs> okay, Ospa, now I can actually read what you wrote. And nice to hear that you're doing it, bro. I'm doing it too. Because we finally beat this boss! Ah, <laughs> oh, I've never played Kingdom Hearts. Is it bad? Is it bad? Dude, it's one of so the best games ever. Mm -hmm. It's just insanely too, hard. And I'm playing a mod keyblade. that makes it even more difficult. Hey, <sighs> why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I Yo, Reese! <laughs> it's the man himself, yeah. I'm and you're here, dude, too. How are you doing, Are you sure? Who knows? But we need up the top rockets. Oh, that was a rough find. <sighs> I'm really enjoying this cutscene right Sora, now. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? No problem. No side friends. Okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. This boat runs on happy faces. Happy? It's pretty okayish. Bloop, are you kidding? <laughs> Bloop just roasting the entire franchise. You can't say that. <laughs> I'm one of these fanboys. I'll admit it. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. It's not only pretty cash, it's the best game ever ever. Or the best franchise. Like I wouldn't say that the first game was the best one. For me still the, the second one is still the best one. Nice to hear that you're alright, Reese. Uh, no, actually, this is just because for the casual playthrough, I thought that I could use a cam, but otherwise I don't plan to use cam for, for speedruns. 
And I guess I'm doing pretty good okay ish. Especially now that we finally beat this boss race, because I've spent so many attempts here. I, I think we've been sitting here for more like half than an hour trying to beat this guy. Shut up! Enough! Have I roasted it enough so that it is well done? Unlike Cage Flea and Nomura's eyes? Wait, Bloop, you have to tell me about it. What is Cage Flea and Nomura's eyes? Either way, he could be quite useful. Are you a hot sexy woman? Reese needs to answer that uh, question. <laughs>